Our next finalists, ladies and gentlemen, come from The Lizard, the graveyard of the ships, as it was known, also known as the land of the monks. So travel and religion combined, where have I heard that before? Travel and religion combined. So what better idea to have for their bid, travel and religion amalgamated, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they said of their bid. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. Uh, they are the Lizard Churches, a project using a bus to reach our rural communities. Now this sounds good. Meeting needs, building relationships, engaging with faith and showing Christ's love through word and deed. I give you the Fusion Bus Project. Welcome to the Fusion Bus Project presentation. I must admit, you're all looking uh, very fine, and especially the panel looking really, really good tonight. Um, Bishop Tim, you always do look good in purple. Perhaps you're my style icon. Looking quite good. Enjoy the presentation. Fusion Bus Project has come out of an existing Ecumen project called Fusion, which has just entered its sixth year, providing contemporary worship gathering once a month. Providing a mobile vehicle to create space, we want to offer predominantly, but not exclusively, young people an opportunity and time to socialise and feel supported. The bus will travel around the rural communities on the Lizard Peninsula, staying in a village or hamlet for an evening, giving as much time as possible for people to access the programmes and facilities offered. We want to equip this vehicle with facilities that will enable people to experience the church in action and not just behind closed doors. I might do it again. Don't <laughs> The original vision of fusion and the need to do church differently, the bus project was birthed. Taking the church to the heart of our rural communities, looking to meet needs, build relationships, engage with faith and show Christ's love through word and deed. Being in the community regular, we can build relationships and offer much needed support and encouragement where it's needed. Fusion has uh, secured capital funding for up to £30,000 uh, to help purchase or lease the vehicle and set it up. Uh, what we still require is the funding for the running costs for the project for a minimum of three years. Uh, the running costs for the projects are on the application form and uh, they're on the screen now for you all to see. We believe that it's time for the church to do things differently if it's going to play the significant life-changing role that it needs to have in the society that we now live. We are God's workers and we need to be ready to go out. For us to make this project a possibility, we need your help. Thanks for listening.
need a mic for this. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much indeed. Sit up. I'll just have a word with Steve later about the purple shirt. <laughs> yeah, I think it looked quite good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perhaps the wrong colour, but. Well, <laughs> impressive. Definitely. Thank you very much for that. I was slightly concerned about the speed of the bus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know well, what those fact. sort of tiny lanes are like, but. Um, you know, could you let us know about the travel news as well? Yeah. <laughs> um, why do you think you'll be able to attract your congregation to a bus rather than any other venues that you've got? Well, I, for me, it's about being out. You have to be out in the community. And what we hope to have with the bus is that we will arrive at a destination, um, a little hamlet, a little village, where we can then engage with people. As it said on the video, it's kind of predominantly young people, but we hope to open, hope to open this out. Um, and I just think that if you, if you turn up with a bus that has kind of a that community, um, word of mouth, various things like that, you can build up relationships. The idea is that we build up relationships. We talk and uh, hopefully uh, mentor and all those kind of things as we go along. <laughs> so I just feel that we can do a lot more in the local community not having a church building as such, and actually just being in the heart of that community far more than Daphne, very interested in the speed of that bus whizzing around the village. Well, it's a fairly long way from where we were to the lizard, so we had to speed up somehow, otherwise you'll still be here. Amazing <laughs> haste, very beautiful countryside. Talk Come to us a bit more about the bus versus any other way of doing it. Is that, you, you, we've got to think about the long-term sustainability of that and how we're going to keep it going. You set up a project, how then to keep it going beyond the resources of this fund, for example. And is this the only way of doing it? Is there not other ways of doing it in a sort of a, a lower cost route? Or? Um, yeah, uh, part of the... Um yeah, the purpose for having a bus is because this is about church meeting people's needs in the community. That's, that's what we want to achieve first. Um, so um, the Lizard's got a history of uh, poor attendance. You go to church. On, on the Lizard. Um, we've been doing the Fusion Youth Church for six years. Um, it's attracted for a large number of people, but not from our local community, and that was always the, the vision for, 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 for doing Fusion. Um, so this is uh, a project to meet people's needs in the community, so to deliver church to them rather than expect them to come through our doors. That's why we need to be, we need to be mobile. And uh, we felt a bus has a big impact. We've looked at various options, um, double-decker bus, single-decker bus, pop-out lorry, trailer with a car. Obviously, they all have their pros and cons. Uh, a double-decker bus into some of the rural communities, we might not get there. Um, the pop-out lorry we looked at takes a long time to set up, so that kind of eliminates some of that possibilities. And then we felt a trailer just doesn't have the impact. So it's about creating an impact into that society, into those little places. Um, and we feel that um, through its use, that it will generate enough interest among the local churches that they see that need that then that can continue on. We'd love to see it sustain on and on and on and grow so we can meet more needs in more rural communities on more nights. That's what our hope is. And we hope this is a springboard into future development, really. Thank you very much indeed. I'd love a cup of tea if I can have one. Yeah, we, we get some power, we're on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure it can be arranged, I'm sure it can be arranged. Over here, guys, if you would. Excellent. Come fairly close to me, if you would. See, I hate charismatic people, don't you? What's he got that I haven't got? Hair, madam, yes. Correct. And quite a lot of it as well, and quite a lot of it. Um, so what was that like as far as the panel? Because, I, I, as I say, I'm standing opposite them now, but I've not been grilled by them yet. So what are they? Just quiet, because they can't hear. They're deliberating, they're discussing. What are they really like? What was that like, that whole experience? I, I think they're all excellent, excellent people. <laughs> and do you know... Do you know, he's right to say that. He's right to say that because we haven't made up our minds totally yet. And quite a few characters uh, in that bunch. How did you manage to gather all those people to take part in that today? Um, well, we, we coerced them in, really, offering bribes. No, we didn't. No, they're, 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 they're happy to get involved. Uh, a lot of folks that have been involved from the whole of the project 
um, from its birth. And so, again, passionate about seeing, doing church differently and things like that. And hopefully we can make it happen. Well, what do you think your chances are? I think they're good. You're a very wise man. <laughs> and I can see why you're on this team. Clear off. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much indeed.